What's up guys, Ruxin34 back and today we have an original Pharaoh Servant Booster Box. We're going to be opening this up for one of you guys. He actually purchased it off of me and I'm going to pop his name up on the screen. It was, well, his Instagram name was a little bit crazy, it had like X's in it and stuff. So I, I'm trying, not going to butcher the name. I'm just going to pop it up. He said he also has a YouTube channel. So if you want to go check that out, make sure you guys do that. So he is hoping to pull a Jinzo. Hopefully we can pull one that can get a PSA 10 because a PSA 10 is worth over 300 bucks according to eBay sale list or sailed sold listings. So that would actually be a crazy pull. So before we get started the giveaway for this video, we have a magical hat, super rare, Pharaoh servant. We got a beast of tower, Pharaoh servant, and an imperial order secret rare Pharaoh servant. It does have a little bit of damage right there. Not perfect condition, but these are all original Pharaoh servant hollows. You get a secret rare, ultra rare, and a super rare. So that's a pretty sweet giveaway in my opinion. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know which card you want to see pulled from this booster box. And Genzo is obviously no, probably number one. But then there's also like Buster Blader, Thousand Answer Strict, stuff like that. Make sure you guys go check out when I opened a Pharaoh Servant First Edition booster box. We had some crazy pulls. It was pretty awesome. And let's go ahead and get into this guy. And let's see what we can do. All right, we're opening it up. An unlimited Pharaoh Servant booster box. This is pretty. Whew, this is a. Uh, I mean, even unlimited these days is not cheap. An original booster box. This is going to be a lot of fun. 24 packs. Hopefully we can pull something really good. Yeah, this is going to be pretty crazy. Where are my sleeves? All right, first of all, let's do this. All right, we've got Pharaoh Servant Unlimited. Okay, look at that. Oh my goodness. So epic. Okay. 24 packs. By the way, this is the 24 pack box. So if you open a 24 pack box of Pharaoh Servant, you can get Jinzo. And if you open 36, you get the other secret rare, the Imperial Order that we're giving away. So a lot of people, a lot of you guys didn't realize that. So this is the hobby box. Hobby boxes have 24 packs. When there was a, hop, a split of 24 packs and 36 packs, the hobbies had 24. So from Magic Ruler through Dark Crisis, I believe, had 24 to 36 pack. They didn't in LOB or MRD, and then after Dark Crisis, they went back to, um, no, sorry, after, yeah, Dark Crisis after Magician Force. After Dark Crisis, they went back to just 24 pack. So that's just a, your little tidbit there. Mr. Volcano. We got a Time Seal. Nobleman of Cross out right off the bat. We have a super rare card. This is a really nice super rare too, and the condition looks to be pretty awesome. Check out this unlimited magic card print. Yes, this is really awesome. Really amazing, sweet pull. So... We're probably going to get six to seven foils from this box. We got Armored Glass. Flame Champion. I always love that card. I think he looks cool. Only five star 1900, so not too good. I want to be careful. These commons are... They, they just feel so good. They're the original. Whoa! What in the world? Time out. Guys? What is this? Guys? What is this? What is this? Okay, something weird is happening here. Alright, first of all, we're going to open this pack. We'll figure that out later. That's super weird. I've never seen that before. So we have something going on. It's wrapped up. Maybe that means there's the secret rare in there. We're about to find out. So here we go. Next pack of Pharaoh Servant uh, Unlimited. I don't know what in the world is happening, but let's just keep going. Sealer Grotto, Earthshaker, Mr. Volcano. Oh, I thought that was a, I thought that was a foil. Prohibition is actually like a $3 rare, so that's a really good pull. Prohibition, Minty, Original, Unlim. That is really cool. So there's, I'm going to sleep up the rares because they're super nice. Flying Kamikiri, Three-Headed Guido. Is it Guido or Guido? Guido, and Infinite Dismissal. The centering is really bad on that guy. Check that out. Okay. So, yeah, guys, I don't know what the deal with this is, but we're going to see what happens when I... Okay, what in the world? Can we? Okay, can we open this? It, it's like, this is nuts. I don't know what this is. We're going to open it up. And if there's like a Jinzo in here, they like marked the Jinzo pack. That'd be super weird. Okay, so that is strange. I'm just going to keep that back here because that's crazy. Science Soldier. Driving Snow. There's a Harpy's Brother before they changed it to the Sky Scout. So that's really cool. Rate of Mercy. God! Guys! It was marked! Okay, first of all, but look at the damage on it. Are you serious? Oh no. What is up with that? What is that? No. It's like it's like there's like somebody spilled some foil on it or something. 
That's super weird. Okay, this, this whole box is super weird. Check out the back. And look at all this. What is the stuff on the back? Okay, this is crazy, guys. First of all, awesome to pull Jinzo. That is super weird that it has stuff on it and that it was in the pack. Like, it was in this pack that was marked. What is what is going on? Has anybody ever seen anything like this before? Jinzo, secret rare. I mean, I've seen like damage out of the pack or like, like misprint error. I mean, I don't even know. This could be considered a like a misprint, I guess, but... It's definitely not one that looks too good, so I don't know if it's very appealing. Wow, so I'm like excited, but also like, what? Okay, so that is, that's super weird. I also call that there was a Jinzo in that pack because they marked it, Insect Barrier and Spike Bot. That, I'm super, I'm confused, guys. This is crazy. Okay, let's just keep going and see what happens. Is there any other marked packs? Maybe there's two secret rares in this box. Can you imagine? That would be crazy. All right, Gradius. Science Soldier, Driving Snow, Harpy's Brother, we got an Appropriate Rare, that's pretty cool, Bubonic Vermin, 7 Complete, the, the back half of the commons are way off centered, Enchanted Javelin and Overdrive, okay, Appropriate, so, Rare in that one, okay, is there any other crazy packs, I'm so confused, why, why was it marked, by that red thing, like, what is this? I'm so confused. What is this? This is crazy. Twin-headed Fire Dragon, one of my favorite common cards ever. Invitation to Dark Sleep. Mystic Probe, Way OC. Ceasefire, Ultra Rare. Not the Ultra you really want, but it's definitely better than um, Chain Destruction, I would say. I would rather have this card because it at least looks really cool. Ceasefire, Ultra Rare. That one's in good shape. So the other two halls have been in good shape, but of course Jinzo has just all this foil all over it. Skull Mariner and Cold Wave. But that is the risk of opening old school stuff, unfortunately. Is sometimes they don't come out very in good condition. Because this was, I mean, this was 2002. So this was the original year, the first year of printing stuff. Twin Headed Fire Dragon. Invitation to Dark Sleep. We get a Mad Sword Beast. Major Riot. I don't really remember that card. Eye of Truth. Wing Weaver. And Armored Glass. Yeah, Pharaoh Servant. I had a lot of Pharaoh Servant cards back in the day, so especially all the commons, so I really recognize most of them. Okay. So far, a good super. Got the secret rare, but even though it has foil all over it. And then uh, Ceasefire. Not the best. So hopefully you can pull something crazy like Buster Blader, Thousand Eyes Trick, Deep Sea Warrior. That's cool. DNA Surgery. That's a good common. Michizuri. All right, guys, I remember that from Duel Links. Gamble, Cyber Falcon, Shadow of Eyes, and a Drill Bug. Okay. I'm still baffled by this Jinzo being in that marked pack. Like, that's super weird. That's super weird. I've never seen that. In all the old school boxes I've seen open and I, I've opened, I've never seen that. Solomon's Law Book, Deep Sea Warrior, Kisatai, Nobleman of Extermination. So we got both Noblemans. We got a Flame Champion. Respect play. Yeah, look at that. Look at the centering on the back cards. The Gorochin Kubagata and Souls of the Forgotten. Yeah, this is a bummer because, like, every other card has been in, like, almost perfect condition besides centering. Centering is not good, but the, of course the Jinzo comes out like that. It still looks really good. At least it's not on, like, the foil, I guess. Oni Tank T34. Dokuro Yaiba. Dark Bat. Insect Imitation. We've got a Grave Robber, super rare. So already four supers, or four foils. That is pretty awesome. A Grave Robber, that's really cool. Dark Fire Soldier, Flying Kamikiri, and Greedo. Greedo. Star Wars? Okay, next pack. Yeah, I think Buster Blade would be pretty amazing to pull. That would be pretty cool. Okay, Oni Tank. Dakuro Yaiba, Dark Bat. Insect Imitation, they're the reverse off-centered. Light Force Sword, Gust, Insect Barrier, Spike Bot, and Regulation of the Tribe. It's Light Force Sword, that's classic. Light Force Sword! Classic card, used against Exodia. And that guy, when that guy was running like triple Exodia. <laughs> All right, Attack and Receive, World Suppression, Burning Land, Dark Fire Soldier. Hayabusa Knight, the double attacker. Infinite Dismissal, Bubonic Vermin, 7 Completed, and Overdrive. Alright, the Double Attacker, Hayabusa Knight. 
And the final pack on the right side, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying this video of a Pharaoh Servant Unlimited Booster Box. Pretty awesome. Jinzo in a red marked pack. Like what in the world? Burning Land, Darkfire Soldier, Shift. We've got Skull Mariner, Cold Wave, Gamble, and Cyber Falcon. Okay. Next half. Maybe there's a crazy double Jinzo box. If there is, that would be absolutely insane. Yeah, that would be crazy. I would be hyped. Science Soldier, Driving Snow. There's another Harpy's Pet Brother. Harpy's Pet Brother. What? Another one. <laughs> another Grave Robber. Is that a sign that there's two Jinzos? We got back to back Grave Robber. That's really weird. But not, not unheard of. I have pulled doubles in my in my booster boxes. When I opened an LOB Unlimited box, I actually got, was it two Maneater Bugs, I think? And then in my first edition box, I got two Polymerizations. So, getting the double supers is pretty common. Harpy's Pet Brother. Bruh. And the Shallow Grave Rare. Infinite Dismissal. Seven Completed Enchanted Javelin. Okay. Shallow Grave Rare. Alright, I'm just waiting on that second Genzo. Come on, box. Do something crazy for us. Reign of Mercy. Bombardment Beetle. That's a short print. Twin of Fire Dragon. That's amazing. Invitation of Dark Sleep. Force Requisition. Spike Bot. Skull Mariner. And Cold Wave. Yeah, so I'm hoping we can get an epic ultra pull so that he can have some really amazing pulls. Because Jinzo is good, even though it is not mint condition, unfortunately. Reign of Mercy. Type Zero Magic Crusher. Inspection. Twin of Fire Dragon. Monster Recovery. All right. Solemn Wishes, I think, may be a short prank because we haven't seen it. And that's a pretty good one. Monster Recovery. Whew, come on. Buster Blade or Thousand Eyes Restrict would be pretty insane. Also, a Legendary Fisherman would be pretty cool as well. Any of those would be great. Hopefully, they're minty too. Here we go. Mystic Probe. Solomon's Law Book. Deep Sea Warrior. Oni Tank. Beast of Tower. We gave it away and we got one. This card is... I think underrated. I think it's really cool. I mean, the artwork on it. Look at it. I mean, that's sweet. Check out those ears. There's some big old ears right there. Beast of Tawar, ultra rare, and this one seems minty, so that's good. That's really nice. So the ultras were in great condition, which is really good. That's pretty awesome. Cyber Falcon and Drill Bug. All right. So six foils. I would expect there to be at least another super in here. And if something crazy happens, maybe there's another, you know, ultra or something. Red Moon Baby. That guy is so creepy. Check him out. Respect play. And Souls of the Forgotten. So he's about to have a lot of these commons. A lot of them are repeating. The non ones. And I'm definitely sending him this pack. That is super odd. Like, that is the craziest thing. Okay, not the craziest. But it's, it's pretty crazy. Like, it was definitely a factory thing where they were marking where the secret rares were. Gravity Bind. I guess they were supposed to take that off and they didn't. So... Pretty cool. Gravity Bind. That's a classic card. Four-star Ladybug of Doom. Uh, gotta love that one. The Doom. Okay. Dark Bat. Skull Invitation. That's a very sweet looking card. Four-star Ladybug of Doom. The Doom. There's another rare. These rare... I mean, the rare... A Pharaoh Servant has got to be one of the coolest sets ever. The commons and the rares in it are just so amazing. Okay, Island Turtle, World Suppression, Burning Land, Fairy Meteor Crush, that's a super rare. There we go. Fairy Meteor Crush, I feel like is in every single Pharaoh Servant box ever. You always get this card. <laughs> Same with Grave Robber, I mean, that thing's always showing up. Nobleman, on the other hand, that was definitely the best super rare pull so far. Unless we get another one. One of the best in the set. Maybe the best. Give it the Mystical Elf. Burning Land, Dimension Hole, that was... The first ever first edition Pharaoh Servant pack I opened, I got a Dimension Hole. So, that is classic. Unless I opened one as a kid, which I don't know if I did or not. I definitely had Pharaoh Servant, but I'm guessing it wasn't first edition, because I think I got it mostly from Walmart and stuff. Bike Shoes. Steel Ogre Grotto. Morphing Jar number two. That's classic. Numinous Healer. I haven't seen any Numinous Healer, so that might be a shorter printed one as well. Morphing Jar. All right, one pack left. Can we pull an epic foil and have eight foils? That would be absolutely insane. But overall, the video has gone pretty good, I think. And pretty crazy. Just nuttiness has occurred. Ground Collapse and a Magic Drain. That's one they don't have yet. Drill, drill Bug and Dark Fire Soldier number two. 
Okay, so there we go. Magic Drain Rare. Overall, I'd say pretty good. Pretty good for the box. Um, unfortunately, about the Jinzo, about the condition, you know, not the best, but did do pretty good. Pulling the Jinzo was incredible. And yeah, overall, just a pretty good box. I mean, that's a sweet ultra. Could have a lot worse, like, I mean, Ceasefire and, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, Chain Destruction, stuff like that. So pretty cool box, pretty awesome. So make sure you guys go check him out on Instagram and YouTube for supporting the channel by purchasing this box and letting us open it on video, which is pretty cool. It was a lot of fun. I love opening Pharaoh's Servant. And guys, I don't know if you will have seen the Blue Eyes 10 or not yet. It depends on, you know, what happens. But I'm recording this all at once. So um, make sure you guys check that one out either already or coming tomorrow. It's going to be pretty awesome. And hopefully we'll get incredible pulls. And Tournament Pack 6 as well will be coming up. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero. Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>